It's Haley and Bailey, and we're going to show you today how to clean your hermit crab shell. This is Ares, our contestant. This is Hercules' old shell, and she has taken over the prehistoric shell. Um, my only one. The rest of their shells are spiraled like this, kind of all the same. Where's my other one? They're all, they're all, they all kind of look the same. But hers is like a prehistoric looking fossilized shell kind of looking. She kind of reminds me of like a dinosaur or something. It's kind of pretty cool. It's like prehistoric. But one thing about the shell that is not good is that it gets dirty. And it does not clean without unless if you take it out yourself. If you can't tell, we gave her a bath yesterday. And she has dirt everywhere. And the dirt does not come off from a bath. You have to manually scrub it. So if you have a, a hermit crab like this, they actually have a lot of styles in the pet stores like this. So if you have one like this, I'm going to teach you how to properly and gently clean them without harming your hermit crab. So here we go. This is a toothbrush, just a regular toothbrush. It's a kid's toothbrush that my sister got from the dentist. And I asked her if I could have it and she said yes. One important thing about when you're using a toothbrush is do not use one that has been used before. Use a fresh one and just give it to your hermit crab. Say, oh, this is their, this is their um, toothbrush. So I'm going to teach you. Just put it on a mister or if, you're, if yours has levels, mine does. And just kind of make a puddle over in the corner of your dish and spray directly onto, the, on, onto your toothbrush. Then, just pick up your remote crab and just gently scrub away. Every now and then, there gets dirt on the bristles. You just dump, dip it in the water and just scrub some more. Gently and slowly, you're going to pull off the dirt. And make it okay. For your hermit crab. It only takes a couple seconds to do this and just make sure you do not touch her exoskeleton. Your hermit crab's very very gentle and cannot be scrubbed at this temperature of water and try not to get a cold water or too hot water on your hermit crab. If they happen to come out like she's being very curious right now as to what I'm doing to her just cup your hand like this and just go straight over slowly over your hermit crab like you're giving her a big hug hand and just let go. See, she didn't go in all the way, then just do it again. Just do it again. And now she's in, not all the way though, she's being a kind of stinker. But <laughs> just continue to scrub and they'll go back in. They don't like the sound or the vibrations of the scrubbing. Very soft. Yep, just go very soft like, and the rest of it is just marks. She has some pretty brown marks on her. I'm going to spray some more. If you're, if you're getting low on water, just spray some more. And it looks like she's pretty and all dolled up. You like your new shells, Ari? Good job, Aries. And then this is Aries' shell, all cleaned up. Then yeah. afterwards, you can either tap, pat dry them like this, and just kind of rub off the dirt and the creases, and finish out the job if there's any more dirt left. Or you can just let her have fun with her brothers and sisters, running around getting dry. that concludes this video. Um, subscribe and watch the others. Bye guys!